Hi guys, welcome back to regular programming. For those of you that don't celebrate Thanksgiving where you are, thank you for your patience while I uploaded all of those recipes. Today I'm honoring a request I received in the comments section about a month ago for a fada stew, which is a Nigerian green stew. So let's get into it. I'm using a mix of green peppers. Cubanel peppers, green bell peppers, green habaneros, green jalapenos, green chilies, some green tomatoes. Um, I have a straggling piece of red bell pepper, one whole onion. I'm going to use a half a piece of that ginger, one clove of garlic. Um, I have a mixture of meats. This stew calls for fried meats. I'm going to be roasting mine in the oven. One and a half cups of meat broth, one tablespoon of ground crayfish, one teaspoon of curry powder, one and a half teaspoons of seasonal, I have a half cup of a mix of grapeseed and coconut oils, and I'm going to also use a half to three quarter cups of red palm oil. Of course, the first thing I'm going to do is blend our ingredients. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I'm using some locust beans. Those are fermented, so they stink. <laughs> but fermented foods are good for your health. So we're using two tablespoons of the, the locust beans. Um, so I blend those into my peppers. You can also just fry them in your oil for about a minute. Um, I can't bleach the palm oil or the oils in this case for this stew, which is what you're supposed to do. Um, so I just warm my oil and then I pour in my blend to start the boiling slash frying process. So you're just gonna let this cook. It's gonna be a total of about 35 minutes. Just make sure that you're checking this in between to make sure it's not burning um, and just give it a mix. And then grab your meat broth at about minute 20 and let that cook into your stew. Welcome if you're new to this channel and you're newly subscribed, I say thank you. If you're not subscribed yet, please feel free to hit that red button. This stew was cooking with a vengeance, so I took it off the heat so I could show it to you. Um, just be careful so that you don't get splashed on. I'm going to add my seasonings now and then give that a mix. And I'll keep cooking this for another 10 or so minutes. This was about 25, 30 minutes in. And this is what you're looking for, is for the oil to nicely relax on top of your stew. If this scares you, you can certainly skim off the oil. Um, but yeah, we're going to just go ahead and grab our roasted meats, or if you're frying yours, your fried meats, and mix that in, and then let the flavors blend for about five to six minutes. And voila, our stew is ready. I usually serve this with steamed white rice and some smashed black-eyed peas. If you wanna see that recipe, let me know in the comments section. And there's our stew. My cousin gave me a 4.9 rating on this, blah, blah. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>